Casting a long shadow. Greetings, voyagers. So if you've been watching, you know that I've been excavating up around the uh, where the greenhouse is going to go. But also when I built the house, I excavated the entire inside, six inches deep. So, And then I sifted the sand out like I've been doing uh, to use, uh, to put down as a bed for the bricks when they go down for the floor. So after sifting the sand, I had all these piles of gravel lying around the property. I got like three or four piles of gravel that's been sifted. And I finally found a use for it. There's a big dip right there. First there's a, a drop off from the pavement and then there was a dip right there. So every time I pull in with the van and I'm coming in at an angle and I'd hit that dip, the van would be going like this and stuff would come flying off the shelves even when you're going slow um, up here. So finally found a use for that gravel. We'll see how long it lasts. I may have to, well, whatever, whatever it takes. I mean, I got plenty of gravel. So if this stuff uh, doesn't last long, I can just keep filling it in. Woo. Another beautiful day up here. Look at that bird. It's going to go right into that. Oh, no. There's some birds living in that little birdhouse on the pole. Yeah, there they are. And uh, I can't identify them. I can't get close enough to identify them. That's my neighbors, my nice neighbors across the street there. Um, they're from Connecticut. They put that birdhouse up. And uh, they got birds. That's pretty cool. I used to have a bluebird that was nesting in one of my apple trees right out front years ago. Um, and then uh, it nested there for one year and didn't come back. The nest stayed in the tree until this year when I accidentally knocked it off. But... Um, yeah, there's all kinds of birds up here. That's why I call my place Birdland. So anyway, that's just a quick one. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Tell your friends and share. Because sharing is caring.